Today I'm gonna to show you how this band will allow you to train with this baby weight and yet still maximally stimulate all your muscle fibers. I'm Dr. David Gunnerman from Blue Star Nutraceuticals and welcome to the Rad Lab. During my tenure at the University of Texas Medical Branch, my independent research was purely focused on one very specific style of exercise training called blood flow restriction exercise. But using this advanced training technique, you can achieve maximum levels of muscle activation, stimulation, and muscle growth, all while using weight as low as 20% of your one rep maximum. The science-backed results makes this an especially great training tool to utilize if you're nursing an injury, depleted pre-contest, or even trying to make do with a lackluster gym. To perform this technique, all you need to do is restrict the blood flow traveling in and out of your muscles by applying a band like this upstream to the muscle you want to train for the duration of the exercise. So in this case, we're going to train the biceps. What we're going to do is we're going to tighten this pretty tight ahead or upstream of the biceps. And you want this to be tight enough to restrict not only the blood going in, but mostly we're um, restricting some of the blood flow that's coming out of the muscle. So you can see that some of the blood flow is pooling in the muscle itself, as you can see from the large veins, uh, and that's already a good sign. So you want the tightness or the, the level of sensation to be around a seven out of 10, which is pretty uncomfortable, but not overt painful. So once the bands are in position, you wanna grab weights that are approximately 20% of your one repetition maximum and start with a, a set of around 30 repetitions. All right, so the rest interval is where all the magic happens. In this particular moment, you don't really get the sensation of rest. During the rest intervals, the blood is still pooling inside the muscle and is not allowed to release. And the metabolites within the muscle is what is allowing for the stimulation of muscle growth. During your rest intervals, you want about 30 seconds before you start the next set. Typically when you start the next set is when you start to feel some of the release of the metabolites out of the muscle. So you wanna do this for four sets. The first set of 30 repetitions and then three subsequent sets of 15 repetitions each. Blood flow restriction training has been studied in hundreds of research papers to be a viable and safe way to stimulate muscle growth through a slightly different mechanism than traditional resistance training. By restricting some of the blood flow going into the muscle, the low oxygen environment forces the muscles to become anaerobic quicker and thus fatiguing the fast twitch fibers, which normally can only be achieved when you lift heavy weights. More significant is the restriction of the blood leaving the muscle. This leads to an accumulation of fluid and metabolites inside the muscle that rapidly accelerates muscle fatigue, inducing metabolic stress that supersedes the effects of training to failure, because now you're even fatiguing the slow twitch muscle fibers. The level of fatigue is normally only achieved with excessive drop sets to failure. The use of blood flow restriction exercise doesn't need to be a part of your everyday routine, yet it can be an extremely effective way to maximize training efficiency when heavy lifting simply isn't an option. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit the like button for more validated research and real scientific answers to sports nutrition and exercise science. Just hit subscribe and find out everything you wanted to know but were afraid to ask.